Hi folks, I want to share a resource with you that's been incredibly valuable for me in the last few years, not to mention the fact that it's free. It's called DIGO, D-I-I-G-O, and it's a way for organizing the information that you find online. And recognizing that there's a wealth of information that explodes every single day, there's no way that you can hold on to all the information in your head. You can't remember where you saw that one article or that one cartoon. There's no way you can track it down. So I think of this kind of as my outside brain where I can dump the things that I'm interested in and that I know that I'm going to look for later on. And as I dump them in, there's a way of categorizing them and leaving myself some breadcrumbs for how I know I'm going to search them later. So this is the stuff that I've been reading in the past few days that I've found valuable and that I want to keep. Um, and you can see a little bit of the tags that I've used to give myself a place to start looking later on. The cool thing about this is that this is a live link, Digo Profile Humanita Yo, which you don't need to sign in for, which means I'll be sharing this uh, link with you and you can always access my information. You can always see what I'm reading and saving. And even in a few years, and I still have students that reach out to me, you can take a look at stuff that I've saved. So it kind of gives you curated information, so kind of expert approved content, um, which is a nice place to start looking when you're interested in a new topic. So when all the information is dumped in all these sources that you've found, you want to kind of organize them in some way that will be useful later on. So for example, I can do a search now on video and see how many things I've tagged called video. And I have a total of 117 different videos in my library. I can see if I have any videos on trans issues. So I'm combining both video and trans. And yeah, now it's found that I have seven different videos on trans issues. Since I also teach in Spanish, I have a category called Spanish so that I can easily find resources later. So now I'm looking to see if I have any videos on trans issues specifically in Spanish language. And I do. I have two different ones. So this gives you an idea of how you can do a refined search to find that one thing that you're looking for later on. That's the way that I use my materials. Now we also have a group project that a lot of different students of mine have been working on for a few years. And I'm going to show you once I sign in. So you go to the sign in button and for this one you do need the credentials. And the credentials are women's studies materials at gmail.com that's the username women's studies materials at gmail.com and the password i can't speak and type is ws materials so that's ws materials for the password and again this is where you see all the information dumped into one place all the sources that are in here have been chosen, curated, described, tagged, cleaned up, and organized. So they should be pretty easy to search through. The coolest part about this is what you see up here on the top saying My Outliners. If you go on that, you'll see lists of materials that students have created in order to help folks get a top 10 intro view about one subject. So for example, we have here Legal Oppression of Queer People. And what you'll find is somebody's entire term project in which they sort, I'm sorry, they search through a lot of materials, they chose the best ones, they give us a description of what they were doing. And we have 10 live links to 10 different sources. And each of them has a set of tags, so a set of organizing categories, and a short description of what we're looking at. Once you click it, you'll be taken to the article. It's open up, opening up here on the left. And if you want to go to the original page, you can just click right here on original page. That's kind of what an outliner looks like. So if you're interested in having some overviews, some um, broad top 10 lists of things to read, these are great resources that your ex-classmates put together. So for example, uh, there's work on parental leave in the United States. You can open that up and see the different sources that were thought most valuable, all organized and prepared for you. If you are not interested in looking at the top 10s, if you just want to search and see uh, what kind of topics people have been putting in, you might do just a general search like we did with my materials, video, racism, and see what we get. Oh, of course, I'm searching in the my outliners. Sorry, I gotta go to the top left, which is my library. And now do a search. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Total of 17 different videos for video racism. So this could be a good place for you to start researching a new topic or for you to find materials on a project that you're interested in. So for example, now you may be interested in workplace harassment because it's more relevant to your life, or now you may be more interested in feminist parenting. And you'll find a lot of resources here. 